To present an architectural project requires an enormous amount of information to be arranged uh, in some graphic and non-graphic way. Uh, typically, architects use uh, a, a sheet set of many different drawings and many different diagrams and schedules and written text to explain the, arch the architectural design. So, um, so, so there's a lot of conventions related to how sheets are laid out in architecture. Um, so, uh, so typically we use large formats. We could use small formats. That's not really the issue. Um, but um, we use plans, we use elevations, we use sections to produce both dimensional views or present dimensional information as well as non-dimensional information or textual information. So the title block is, is our kind of convention for arranging that. Um, now here, if we look at a title block in Revit, um, you can see one that I've laid out. It's uh, eight and a half inch by 11. So I can measure that to confirm it. Yes, 11 inches across uh, and eight and a half inches uh, tall. Um, so it has various areas for placing views of the model. It also has uh, a um, a sheet number and a sheet um, name and a project name. So, so several different uh, um, sort of organizational pieces of information so we can find the particular sheet for the particular project uh, that has the particular information we're looking for. Now I've also added these sizes of the viewing er view areas to make it easy to create appropriate views that will fit perfectly in the title block. One last thing I want to point out is that it has these layout lines in it to help me position things. Um, I've set those up so that I can turn them on and off by clicking on this show guidelines um, parameter value. So I just went to type properties and uh, show guidelines and I can turn it on and off. 